Hello guys, uh, welcome to uh, another showcase. Uh, it's been quite some, quite some time since we did our last uh, video or our last uh, tutorial. And uh, today we are going to look at something that we call Geonode. Uh, Geonode uh, is uh, what you call a spatial data infrastructure. And uh, in front of you, we, we have the documentation that is under docs.geonode.org for those who want to know the details. Uh, so Geonode is a very uh, robust framework, uh, GIS uh, framework. At, it is used in, uh, you know, geospatial information systems. And it is used in various ways. It is used to, you know, to share maps, uh, share spatial data. Uh, location information uh, through the web uh, and it also uh, it is also used to uh, you know to manage also this data so geonode is uh, basically a framework uh, that is built on top of uh, Django uh, which is a Python web framework and uh, it also has uh, has been integrated with uh, something called Mapstraw uh, that is uh, developed in Java and uh, for the backend, uh, it uses, or the or for the database rather, it uses uh, PostgreSQL uh, to store the data, uh, metadata, and also the spatial uh, data information. Yeah, so we have the installation for Geonode, and uh, this is a bit that we will uh, begin with. First of all, we will look at uh, how to install Geonode. And uh, we will uh, be looking at how to deploy it in an Ubuntu uh, 20 uh, LTS, long-term release operating system. And uh, finally, we'll also look at how to deploy it in uh, Ubuntu 18. Yeah, so, uh, so the Geonode itself is uh, quite robust and it's being used by various uh, organizations. And... Uh, let me see if I can be able to show something here. I'm assuming, I think it's under demo.geonode.org. So there's a live site that uh, shows the demonstration of how uh, Geonode looks like. And there's also another one that shows Uh, various, I think, websites that use uh, Geonode. Yeah, so this is a Geonode uh, live demo. We have the stable development and experimental. Uh, so let's just open the, the stable one and the versions that have been shown here. So this is how Geonode looks like. As you can see, this is a user interface. Uh, yeah, I think it, it also uses React. Yeah, so you can see the nav navigation bar up here that has data, map, apps, and about. And uh, we have layers, maps, documents, and users, and also themes. It can use, be used to represent geoscientific information, elevation, economy, and all that. And uh, of course, the, the footer part, uh, you can also switch to whichever language. So under gallery, we have various organizations that use Geonode. So we have these Alp, Convertlas, Geoportal, Innovation Lab. Uh, we also have a website by UNESCO, uh, Data Risk Afghanistan, uh, Assess Risk. Uh, we have the World Map, Geosef or Mozambique Government, uh, Katoza. Uh, we have SDAC, uh, World Food Program for the UN. We also have State Geonode. It's being used here by the U.S. government. And, uh, yeah, the, the list is quite big. Uh, you also have EGAD and Uganda Bureau of Statistics, Bolivia, Geo Geonode, and all. Yeah, so the list is quite big. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, I'm going to demonstrate on how to deploy Geonode. Uh, it's quite lengthy, but it is also awesome and... Uh, Personally, I've encountered challenges uh, in deploying Geonode uh, in Linux. Uh, there are challenges, but 
uh, you know, we that's why we are looking at it together. And also, other developers have also been having similar, uh, you know, been having similar challenges. So uh, keep posted, and uh, we shall be looking at uh, the deployment of GeoNode. So, uh, for those who are new uh, users, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, and also like my videos and share them. Uh, and you can also place in a comment wherever you think. Uh, if you have any query or any, maybe any clarification.